Okay, uh, now that we're done with, uh, with, uh, whatever we're just doing, you're done recording your video, it's saved as an AVI somewhere. AVIs are huge, at least the uncompressed AVI that you just made from your thing is huge. You're not going to want to upload it to YouTube like that. See, this is 159 megabytes, it's like 5 minutes long. This one's even bigger. These aren't actually the ones I just recorded because this is actually the second time I've recorded this and I deleted that and then I realized that my original recording sucked. But anyway, uh, anyway, some of you aren't going to like this, but we're going to use Windows Movie Maker to compress it. If you don't want to use that, you can just go and look up a, uh, a WMV compressor or uh, yeah, whatever video codec you want to use for compressing. It doesn't matter. But if you know a better one to use, use that one instead. I'm just going to use Windows Movie Maker because it's easy. If you don't have Windows Movie Maker, you obviously have to be on a Windows machine. XP is going to have a much older version than Windows 7 or Vista, but uh, it has basically the same functionality, but it's much less stable and it crashes all the time. But I use that for years, and I hardly know how to use this version, so I'm not going to show you how to do very much. You're going to have to figure it out. It's really intuitive, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, search Google for uh, Windows Movie Maker. And then uh, this is 2.1. I think this is the one on XP. Yeah, it is. Just go ahead and download this if you got XP. If you don't have XP, then uh, it's Windows Live Movie Maker. Download that instead. And go ahead and install it and stuff. And then just go ahead and uh, and open up your Movie Maker. If you've got 7, it's going to be Windows Live Movie Maker. If you don't have 7, if you have XP, it's not. It's just going to be Windows Movie Maker, I think. Anyway, uh, now we need to... First thing we want to make sure that we do this first, because we don't want our video to get all skewed and whacked out. You're going to want to uh, set the aspect ratio to 16.9 for widescreen because YouTube's widescreen and if you did 720 by 480 then your video is in widescreen. It's not going to be a square, it's going to be widescreen. So you're going to want to set the aspect ratio in the project tab to 16.9. That'll just permanently set it like that. If you're on the XP version you have to go through options which is going to be up on the top where options always is. It's obviously not here for this one. But you just click options and you go into the, it's, it's probably tools, options or something. You just go in and then there's a tab somewhere for aspect ratio. You're going to have to find it on your own because I don't have it. I'm not using XP. But whatever. Anyway, now we're going to need to uh, go back to the home tab and add videos and photos. So go ahead and click on that. If you're on XP, you got to go through a uh, file and then uh, import or something or other, I don't actually remember. Hey Molly, what's it called on XP to, uh, huh? what's it called to, uh, get a, uh, AVI into Windows Movie Maker? What's it called? Yeah, like in file, what do you click on? Import? It's just called import? Yeah. Okay, you just go to file and then import. Okay, I'm going to edit that out. Okay, anyway, now that you're in here, go and find your uh, your specific thing. I'm just going to use one of these other AVIs up on my desktop. It's going to open up this big uh, ribbon here on the side. You can, like, set up the thing. You can uh, split it up so that you can click and drag the stuff. It's all intuitive. I'm not going to show you how to actually use the program and add titles and stuff because they don't matter. But what we want to know how to do is we want to know how to save your movie. If you're in XP, it's going to be called Save Movie File under under uh, File. <laughs> then you just, uh, you want to save it to your computer. And then you just save as whatever you want. You know, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Just click Save. Then it's going to start saving here. It's going to take a really long time depending on your processor. Mine's pretty fast because I got a pretty fast, got a quad core, and you know it's not that bad. But some people might have like a P4 or something. Then it's going to be a lot slower. Anyway, once that finishes, it's just going to save it as a nice uh, WMV. And then you can just uh, go into YouTube. You know, I'm not actually going to finish mine up, but uh, just go into YouTube. Then uh, go ahead and log into your account. And then just click on the upload button. And then just click uh, upload video. 
and go ahead and browse that WMV you just made, and that'll upload it for you, and then you're done. You use annotations instead of titles if you can't figure out the titles on WMV or you just don't want to use them. You know, you're going to have to do that on your own, but it's really all just, you know, a cam studio. You just, you want to encode it, though, as another f file because YouTube, you don't want to be uploading, like, a 10 gigabyte thing, especially because YouTube won't accept that because the max is 2 gigabytes. So that's why we encode it as a different format because if you use the raw AVIs, it's just too big. So that's all I'm using. If you don't want to use Windows Movie Maker, you can just get a WMV encoder and just encode it straight to, you're not going to have any titles or anything, but that'll just encode the files right away. But if you do have multiple clips like I do, like I've got two clips, if you saw them on the desktop before, uh, then you're going to need to put them together in Windows Movie Maker or something else. You can use whatever you want. Uh, Anyway, that's that's really pretty much it. Uh, it's it's not that hard. You just gotta be used to talking and explaining every little detail because no matter what you explain, there's gonna be a million questions, and that just cuts ten million into one million. So uh, you, you're gonna want to explain to avoid frustration. Anyway, that's it.